We're starting today's video off here in Midtown in Tampa, Florida. Just a little ways down the street from where I live. And uh, who knew it, but there's something actually pretty darn cool here in this spot. I'm gonna show you in just a sec. There it is, Geoffrey's. There's a Geoffrey's down here. If you aren't familiar with Geoffrey's, they are actually a coffee company that is inside of Disney. It's one of their one of their coffee places. So it's pretty amazing that there's actually one right here in Tampa. And not only can you get a cup of coffee here inside of Geoffrey's, but you can actually buy bagged coffee here too. The Disney stuff. They got the 50 50 anniversary blend. They've got fall flavors in here as well. Oh my gosh. This is a this is amazing. Not only do they have Disney coffees in here, but they have Tampa specific coffee as well. They have one for Ybor City. They have a Cigar City blend. There's even a special Midtown blend. Check it out, Tampa Bay's Pirate Crew blend. Wow. Okay. I found where I'm gonna be buying all of my coffee from now on. And I ended up getting a pumpkin pie latte. It was delicious. And I don't have a coffee shout out because I'm actually all caught up on them. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I did want to shout out Brad and Amanda, my pals Brad and Amanda, uh, because they're the ones who discovered that Geoffrey's in the first place. Pretty amazing. So cheers to them and also for being just awesome all around. And uh, yeah, for giving me the idea and being able to show it to y'all. Hooray for coffee. Finding random Geoffrey's is not the topic of today's video though. It's not the main topic at least. Oh no, we are back in Lakeland at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back. That's right, we are in Lakeland at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Again, um, I did a whole video on the Lakeland Antique Mall many, 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 many months ago because they have a lot of Disney and Universal props in there that you can actually buy and take home with you uh, legally. <laughs> and, but today that's actually, that's actually not what we are doing here today. It's not the purpose of today's video. We are getting back to the spooky shopping. If I'm not mistaken, this is episode number 17 of the spooky shopping channel. Woo! I'm so excited. Um, obviously not every place out there has a Lakeland Antique Mall, but I bet that there is an antique store or a thrift store or something similar to this in your own hometown. And uh, those are awesome places to find Halloween and fall items. So that is why we are here today. Um, obviously I will show some of the Disney and Universal items that they have here. It's one of the coolest parts about this place. But um, the main focus is to look at everything else. <laughs> a lot of other stuff going on inside of this building besides Disney and Universal props. Um, it is a huge antique store and uh, this is one of my favorite kinds of places to look for the spooky stuff. So that's what we're going to be doing today is finding everything creepy, weird, and Halloween and fall based. So without further ado, let's get on in there. Let's Right as you walk inside, they have a whole Halloween display full of decorations. It is adorable. It's like some of the stuff is actually for sale as well. Okay, maybe not, maybe not the haunted doll. It says that it's not for sale, but I think like this uh, little felt pumpkin here is. Looks like it's eighty-five dollars, but it's definitely vintage. 1992 is what the tag says. Check out this huge Sully sitting right again near the entrance of the store. Holy moly, he is huge. And also he's sitting on, looks like a Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin uh, front of the vehicle. I don't think it's the whole thing, but it's definitely the front of it. That's pretty amazing. Mike Wazowski and uh, He's staring at what looks like one of the actual spaceships from the from the ride, from the actual ride 
in Magic Kingdom in Tomorrowland. Holy moly. That's insane. These are super cool little creepy pumpkins. A classic stack of jack-o'-lanterns there. And check this out. There's a whole shelf here full of horror icons. There's a few Pennywise in there. There's Frankenstein's monster, Leatherface, and of course the most, most horrifying of all, an Oompa Loompa. On the shelf below that, lots of Jasons from Friday the 13th. And uh, a Pennywise right behind the right behind the He-Man there. So I used to have one of these Jack Torrance guys. Uh, a friend of mine from work gave him to me. I think he came from Walgreens or CVS or something like that originally, but he's pretty creepy. Let's see if he works. Wendy, oh, he does. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. That's awesome. This booth over here is selling a whole line of skulls here. It's quite, quite, quite a lot of them. It looks like they're going for three dollars each. And also, I happen to notice this ghost. That's uh, it's riding a pig. He's he's riding a little piggy. He's got a little jack o' lantern on him as well. Huh? I have to say, never exactly seen this before. I'm ghost on a pumpkin pig. Okay, yep, there you go. That about uh, that about sums it up now, doesn't it? This is definitely pretty darn creepy. Apparently, this guy—they're claiming this guy used to be part of the uh, the float, the Aladdin float that they used to have at the studios. What in the world? Disney World Aladdin's Royal Caravan Parade float figure from Hollywood Studios. December 1992 to 95 is when it was running and it's they're selling it for $1,200. Also very creepy, this 1970s Ronald McDonald scary clown head. That is legitimately what the tag says that it is. Going for $299. Oh boy. What well, creepy items here. This skull lady. And then also this uh, jack-o'-lantern here, which I think we've seen at Lowe's and Home Depot, if I'm not mistaken. Also this super adorable little spider with a little, little hat, little party hat on. And also lots and lots of little mice figurines, as well as these little, little cows as well. Okay, these are these are pretty adorable. Speaking of mice figurines, they have these little ones over on this side too. This one's actually super cute. It looks like it's a little little witch. We saw something pretty similar to this at Home Goods this year. I don't know if this is from this year or whatever. If maybe they've done the little vintage mice in the past, but that is super cute. It's twenty dollars. And then this one over here. Just selling, just selling some apples. See, there's a lot of stuff here that is, it looks like it's from Home Goods. It's a Ray Dunn, she follows us everywhere. Ooh. And more really super cute little Halloween items here too. The little mice. It's got a lot of, a lot of the little mice in here and they are absolutely adorable. Oh, and there's a witch, oh no. Oh no. Pumpkin down. Pumpkin down. Okay, there you go. By the way, that giant wooden hand that you've been looking for, they have it here at the Lakeland Antique Store. Also, those creepy little vegetable and fruit, uh, I don't even know what the heck this is. They're here as well. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of adorable. I would check these skellies out. Looks like they're hanging out on what looks like maybe an old Ferris wheel. Uh, seat here. Looks like they're having a great time. I like his little California Adventure. Oh wow, that's pretty cool actually. A little California Adventure Mickey ears here. Very festive, very nice. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying these uh, these came from Home Goods. Ray Dunn uh, strikes again. Oh, check out this cute little. Uh, oh my gosh, this is from 2001. This little witch mini here. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. More of these cute little figurines 
as well. And uh, if this looks familiar, it's because it's one of the very first items I ever purchased on the Spooky Shopping Channel, the little witch gator, which is easily still one of my most favorite things that I've picked up this season. It's a set of three cauldrons here. Always love to see that. I think these are specifically Hocus Pocus based. Bunch of Hocus Pocus stuff in here. Okay, maybe not the maybe not the jellyfish. Got some vintage looking cutouts here as well. Those are always some of my most favorite things to look at and to, to find and to pick up. Oh, I like Oh, that's pretty cool. That's legit. Inside of this case here, it looks like we have a couple of lounge flies, which is pretty neat, and also more of those little little figurines. I didn't know that those were like a thing, but I guess they are. I think they're called Vintage Annalee. This horrifying toad here is going for $50. I'm going to assume that that's relatively rare. Also, check it out. This is the the baby doll head planter that we picked up at Michael's this year, but this one has like a bunch of plants and stuff coming out of it, and they're selling it for $45. Interesting. Got these Winnie the Pooh characters in here on their little uh, feet. It says 2000. So I think these came, I'm assuming from the year 2000. That is, that's pretty crazy. They are $19 for the two of them. You know, I really didn't think I didn't think I'd be spending so much money today, but uh, they're getting me with the old Disney Halloween stuffies so far. That's um, it's very tempting. Okay, this isn't spooky related, although if you know me and you're familiar with the channel, you know that fish uh, actually terrify the living heck out of me, especially shellfish. Uh, so this is kind of like, Sir Henry's all all over again. So it's a little it's a little uh, on brand for me. But anyway, I saw this little seal out of the corner of my eye. It is so super stinking cute. Looks like he's a little uh, coin jar there. Oh my gosh! Why do I want this vintage seal bank? Why do I want this? Oh, look at all of the figment plushies. Oh, so cute. He's got his little sweater on. It's adorable. Also, I don't know why, but I really like this cat. Like, I really want to take this home as well. Look at his face. He just has like the weirdest little face. Can't escape the fall florals either. A lot of, a lot of different kinds of fall florals and then this stuff over over here but we're not going to talk about that not yet at least let's just uh let's just look at fall nice soothing fall really getting me with the plushes i'm not gonna lie but check this out look at this cruella de vil plush oh my gosh i don't think i've ever seen anything like this before. Okay, I can't find a date for her anywhere, but she is awesome. Only going for seven dollars too. Some Thanksgiving items over here. These are super cute. I like the little pilgrim bears there. They are adorable. Also, this little turkey is super, super cute. It looks very homemade and I'm not mad about it. Also, that framed corn that you were looking for. Look at that little desk. Well, it's right here. I really like this jack-o'-lantern here. Very different from what we usually see. It's very nice, I like that. $32. Vintage-y looking mugs over here as well. And also another uh, not so average looking jack-o'-lantern. That's really? actually really really pretty let's see 22 dollars says linux jack-o-lantern classy halloween so there you go folks if you don't want that gaudy horrible looking uh stuff go for the clack go for the classy well check this out i don't remember seeing this the last time we were here oh my gosh there's a lot of halloween going on 
inside of here. Check out, th this guy's wearing, it looks like Shrek 3D glasses too. That's, uh, that is absolutely horrifying. I have to say though, this bunny in this gigantic top hat is probably one of the creepiest things I've even seen all season. Wow, that is horrific. A bunch of Halloween signs and tombstones and all kinds of good stuff over here as well. There's a witch popping out of that cauldron there. That is awesome. And then these witches over here as well. This is a pretty cool looking one. So I gotta show off the Halloween Horror Night stuff that they have in here as well. Also, some chairs from the Monsters Cafe. I know a bunch of people are a huge fan of the Monsters Cafe. Well, if you want to buy one of the chairs from the restaurant, well, here you go. You can buy it here. Of course, the actual chair that was sitting outside of the cafe is here as well. We were checking this out earlier with Tampa J. He featured it in a video a couple weeks ago. Pretty darn cool. Got a bunch of props back in here as well. Always awesome to see it. Also have a lot of Haunted Mansion items here too, which is pretty darn cool. Y'all know I'm a fan of that. I like all of the artwork that they have and they have this really cool Madame Leota tombstone. Let's see. Like we've got some plushes, some books, some Haunted Mansion ears over here, all kinds of really, really cool stuff. Oh, there's the organ player. It's one of my favorite parts from the Haunted Mansion. These little candlestick holders are super cool too. The actual cabinet that all of these are displayed on was used in the Haunted Mansion store in the actual park which is pretty darn cool too. There's a bunch of spirit Halloween items here too, or at least some of them. I like this skelly here that's like sitting on top of this uh, like little wagon hearse. There's a, a zombie lady here and a headless horseman statue. That is awesome. Yeah, a bunch of spirit Halloween items up at the top shelf as well as a ton of really cute Halloween signs as well. Yeah, I'm really glad that I waited to do this for now because uh, we literally were just here a couple weeks ago and they did not have all of this stuff here, I'm pretty sure. So this is awesome. This may be the creepiest thing we've seen so far. It's like a wicker basket type deal, but it looks like a huge frog. I don't even want to get close to it. They had to put an eye, a little eye in there and everything. Oh my gosh. Minnie, watch out. That is horrific. Check out all of the vintage figurines up here as well. Frankenstein's monster, the ghost popping out of the pumpkin, and uh, some Draculas back there as well. Those are legit. This is super cute as well. The little Jack Skellington on top of the pumpkin. That's actually, that's really cute. I like that. Also, this grill. Oh my gosh, it has little Mickey ears on it. That is also adorable. Oh, look at these creepy witches over here. Their eyes are like kind of glittery. That is definitely horrific. Oh, only $15. Wow, that's pretty amazing. I have a feeling, I have a feeling they definitely come alive at night and wreak havoc. I'm gonna assume these otters do potentially the same. They come alive at night and wreak some adorable havoc. Come play with us, Danny. Forever and ever and ever. Is there anything more horrific than reliving your awkward childhood phases? These beads here, these doorway beads definitely remind me of the early 2000s for me. Also these Barbies as well. I actually had this exact same Barbie 25 years for the 25 year anniversary 
of Walt Disney World. Yep, had the exact same one. That's uh, wow. This, both of these things here are really bringing me back. Oh, Pennywise, watch out for my basket. Wow, that is cool. He's creepy. Goes on for a while, too. You gonna stop? Boop. More creepy witches over here, right next to this really cute little fall tree. I really like this one, although I think it's just a mask that's attached to the witch hat there, which is pretty, pretty cool. Here's some Halloween costume ideas for you. You can be the ever popular Dorothy here. Wizard of Oz Dorothy, in case you were confused what you were looking at. And also the lion is uh, right behind him. Look, it's even got the little badge of courage in there. Wow, that is horrifying. The lion has like pants. So you would actually be putting your whole body inside of this uh, plastic poncho material suit. That may be the scariest thing we've seen so far. Here's a whole display of fall and Halloween over here as well. I have to say the alien guy here is probably my favorite thing. He's clutching on to these pajamas as hard as possible, it looks like. He really likes them. I guess that makes sense. They are, uh, you know, planetary. So that's on theme. There's definitely a lot going on in this display. I see several things that I really like. I like the skelly piggy bank here. Super cute. I like these little stands. Those are adorable. Ghosty with eyelashes popping out of the pumpkin there. And I like the cat as well. I have a feeling that's not necessarily Halloween based. It's just funny that it's just kind of just kind of sitting there taking it all in. This is actually pretty amazing as well. It's one of those like copper mold things, but this one is specifically astrology based. That is amazing. That's very tempting. I may have to I may have to purchase this. amazing. Check out these vintage Disney masks in here. Ooh, these are very, very creepy. I think I like the Chief Mouseketeer one here. That's definitely, that is, that's pretty horrific. And that Epcot Flower and Garden prop chicken display that you were looking for, well you can find it here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. 30 $30. It's actually very heavy as well. Wow. And here's also that gigantic onion that you were looking for as well. $65 for this big boy here used as a flower and garden prop as well. I have to admit I like the vegetables. It's pretty darn, it's pretty darn hilarious. Sorry, it's not spooky, but I don't know. I'm just getting, I'm just getting a real real kick out of these giant vegetables. And before we head out of the store, I wanted to show this cute little display. Looks like a bunch of different Snoopies and other various things. Hey, wait a second. What are you doing here, witch? That looks just like Jay's witch. Huh, that's crazy. Did he, did he get it here at the Lakeland Antique Mall? I don't think so. Interesting, well, there's another one. They're everywhere. The Lakeland Antique Mall was a huge success, and yes, I did purchase a few things. So that means there's gonna be a haul segment at the end of this video, hooray. Very excited to show you what I got. It may be a little bit unexpected um, than what you may, uh, may or may not think. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna go across the street, get some food, get a couple more items before I before I head on back home. Oh, check it out. Bella has been watching the monsters the whole time. Nicely done, Bella. Okay, so now that I am home, let me go ahead and show you all what I decided to buy today. 
first of all i did get the astrology the zodiac uh, little copper tin here um so what i'll probably do is go ahead and hang it up somewhere in the spooky kitchen it was just too cool i've always wanted one of these uh copper tin things i'm also a huge fan of the golden girls and i love how their kitchen is decorated i'm not gonna lie they have a bunch of like copper molds and whatnot all over the it's just very like kind of old school and it's just amazing that this one is actually like the zodiac i feel like i'm never gonna find this again so i had to i had to get this baby i couldn't pass it up next up i actually got I actually got a few things that are not necessarily spooky related um this ornament i found i know we don't like talking about the holidays yet but um i couldn't pass it up this ornament was used somewhere on disney property or that's what the bag claims and it's just so darn adorable i think this is either supposed to be like a moose or an elk i'm not really sure but i could totally see this being on a tree at like fort wilderness or the wilderness lodge or something like that so I've been kind of collecting Disney ornaments every time I visit the, the Lakeland Antique Mall. I think it's amazing that you can actually have ornaments on your own tree that were on Disney trees. So I'm a sucker. This guy was way too cute not to pick up. And some more random items that I grabbed. I did actually decide to buy the weird little fruit people things um it was a set of three they all came together for 15 dollars and i just the more and more i looked at them the more and more i was like you know what these are adorable they belong with me in my home in my spooky kitchen somewhere they're just so weird but also really really cute so we got the little orange guy here and we've got a little pear as well and the watermelon as well so i don't know i couldn't help it they're really really cute a little creepy i think they will fit well in the spooky kitchen also got a carrot <laughs> uh i don't know because i uh, i'm a degenerate i guess but um this carrot was evidently used in the flower and garden festival at Epcot. It was $5 and I just couldn't help it. Um, I think it's just hilarious that you can buy stuff from the displays at the flower and garden festival. It was used in Epcot and it's a freaking carrot. So I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but nonetheless, I can say that I owned a piece of the Flower and Garden Festival and that makes me really happy. So there you go. I'm an adult and I spend my money on whatever inanimate uh, food items that I want. But um, fear not everyone, I did get something that is actually Halloween based, I swear. I did get the witch mini from 2001 is what her little her little foot says there you go halloween 2001 i think that is amazing um i don't remember ever seeing mini in a like green witch costume usually she is like a witch or a cat or something really adorable like that um, but I, you, I, I feel like usually she's in purple, or lately she's been in purple, so it's really cool that she's in green. I like the little uh, spider on her belt there. Her hat is adorable. She is adorable herself, and she's got a fuzzy little broom as well. So I will definitely be putting her on display year-round. Um, one of my favorite things about the Lakeland Antique Mall is the fact that they have, of course, all of these old Disney items. Not just the props and, and stuff that was used on display um, in the parks, but also stuff from my heyday of going to Disney, which was in the 2000s and the 90s. Um, so it's really cool that they like have a lot of merch and pins 
and other kinds of various items um, from that area, from that era. And um, it just makes me happy. It makes me nostalgic. She is super cute and I'm really happy about it. But yeah, that's it. That's all that I purchased from the Lakeland Antique Mall. So that does it for today's video. I really appreciate you all watching. Hopefully you had a good time. Um, again, we got a lot more spooky content and just content in general coming up here really soon. It's gonna be a very, 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 very busy couple of weeks uh, coming up here. And again, I'm just really excited to share all of that with you. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I know not every <laughs> State, every town has, an, has a Lakeland antique mall, but there is, there are antique malls and thrift stores and all kinds of stuff like that in your hometown. I'm guaranteeing it, and uh, you can always find really cool, like um, vintagey or even recent, as we found uh, Halloween items there. So I would definitely encourage you to check that out. But um. Yeah, again, thank you for watching and we'll see you really soon. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Seriously though, just look how adorable they are. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. I love that they're a set of three too. It wasn't just buy one of them and then leave the rest of them hanging, but you gotta get all three of them. It's also kind of giving me Epcot vibes. Food rocks is what I'm, what I'm thinking about. They are so cute. And seriously, one of my favorite things that I've purchased in general. I don't know why. They just, they are, they are doing it for me. They are doing it for me. Anyway, appreciate you all watching. I'm going to watch some of the monsters. This is pretty legit. I really liked the Rob Zombie one, by the way. I know a lot of people absolutely despised it. But I personally, I thoroughly enjoyed it. In fact, I really want to watch it again soon that's how much i liked it okay bye bye everybody also gotta go walk this bagel this little baby bagel bella your daddy's coming home tonight did you know that your daddy's coming home tonight finally we missed him very very much okay thanks all for watching bye bye see you soon bye bye